Welcome back to Python Interview Tutorial. Today I will discuss one more important question along with this solution. If you are preparing for interview, then this video is for you. Do watch this video till the end to understand each and every line of code. The question is, write a Python program to print the permutation of a given. Before start a discussion, if you first time visit the channel, then do subscribe and press the notification bell icon to get the update on this interview topic. Now I will start the solution of this question. Permutation is nothing but arrangement of letters. We are going to arrange the letter in different permutations. For example, if I have a two character x and y, I am going to arrange x y and y x. So two possible combinations are there. It means we can say it's a two factorial. Two into one is two. If I extend the number of character x y z, then there are multiple combinations. The first combination is x y z. The second combination keep the first letter as it is. Just alter the second and third. So Z Y is my second combination. And so on we can alter. It means we can keep a second character constant and alter the first and third character when formed. So it is 3 factorial 3 into 2 into 1. So total 6 possible combinations were there. If I take a 4 character then it will be a 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. That number of possible permutations can be formed for the given string. Hope you understand that what exactly the permutation in this problem. Now move ahead how to solve this problem. So I will explain two different simple approaches to solve this problem. So let us start with the first approach by using iterator tool. Approach one is by using iterator tool. So I am going to import from iterator tool import permutation. The very first thing is that we have to take the input or assign the string to the variable. So here I will assign the xyz to the s variable. After that, I need to form a different permutation of this string. So, str permutation is equal to, I have to form the permutation of all these characters. So, I can form a list of permutations for the given string s. After that, I am going to print str permutation. You can find all the possible combinations of that letter has been formed. We don't want the combinations of letter. We want a complete string that has been permitted on the given input. So after that, what we need to do? We need to join all the character as a string. So my output string is nothing but I'm going to join all the characters that is for i in given string permutation. So that is being joined one by one character and form a string. So after that I am going to print the output string. I save the code and I execute it. You can find all the characters are going to be joined and form a one string. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six possible combinations has been formed for the given string. If I extend this with let's say a b c d and I just comment this line to verify the output. You can find different combinations has been formed. So it's a total 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. 24 combinations has been formed for the given string. But here the duplicates are not allowed. Yet. Now move ahead for the second approach. I just comment this code and I'll talk about the second approach. In the second approach, we use a recursion, also called as a backtrack. There are two types of recursion is there. One is direct recursion, another is indirect recursion. For this problem, we will use a direct recursion. That means the function is called again within the function. That is the way we can achieve the solution for this problem. Till this point, if you enjoy the video, do like the video. So first of all, we will take a string from a user, xyz as an input for this approach. After that, we need to write a function. So I will write a permutation of string and there are two parameters. First one is the string and second one is from which index I need to be iterated. So initially, I will start from zero index. After that, if my index is equal to equal to length of my string minus one, then we are going to print. That is all the characters has been joined as a string and that has been print. 
then we will iterate for i in a range we have to start from the index till the length of string every character are going to be it then we will take a word list which consists of i for i in the given string then we will interchange either you can write a separate function for swapping or you can here directly swap the variable like this word list of index comma word list of i is get interchange with the word list of i comma word list of index it has been interchanged and then we will recursively call function again and again permutation of a string and that function consists of word list and the index plus one so already the first index is scanned and then we will move it for the second index so index plus one will be moved for the next index after that we will just call the function print and let's say permutation of a string and input is s save the code and i compile it i'll get the co possible combination of that given string so you can check that all the six combinations were formed okay so hope you understand this both the approaches to solve thanks for watching this video